Hi, in this video, we will discuss how to find the double integral over a non-rectangular region. Previously, we performed double integral over rectangular region in order to find the volume under the curve here. So in this case, you can see that the region here is rectangular. How if the region is no longer a rectangular and you are going to integrate the curve under this non-rectangular region to form a different volume. So in this case, how can we find the volume under this non-rectangular region? Let's draw this non-rectangular region in the y-x graph here. You can see that this region is bounded by x from a constant x equal to 0 here. To a constant x equal to 2 here. The y limit is given by g1x here to the g2x. So this is the limit for x and y. In this case, the y limit is given in function. So in this case, you must integrate the y first if you have the limit to be function like this after you integrate with respect to y then only you integrate with respect to x where the x limit is a constant which is 0 and 2 so the y limit is g1x and g2x the function here represents the high function for this curve and after you double integrate this function you should obtain the volume under the curve here for a non-rectangular region. You need to be careful if the limit is a function, you cannot integrate it at the outside like this. So if you do this, you will obtain the result in error and the result here is not valid. So this is wrong and you should focus to put the limit in the inner part instead of outer part which make you wrong here right so this one is correct approach you have a different non-rectangular region in this case where you can see in this case the y limit is constant so your y is from 0 to 2 so this is the y limit and your x limit is a function x is equal to h1y and x is equal to h2y here to know which one is lower and which one is upper limit you need to draw the direction for x axis with that you know that this comes first after this therefore the h1y is your lower limit and h2y is your upper limit for the x axis. To find the volume, you need to take the double integration on the high function with respect to the area. You must integrate with respect to the x first because the x limit here is a function. If you integrate dx later, like this, where you see the limit here is a function at the outer integral you will obtain error so we cannot do this this formula is invalid you need to make sure that the volume formula is formed in such a way that the limit function here must be always at the inner part in this picture you have a high function given by this formula so z is equal to x square plus y square and this is in the variable x and y so we call it as the function in terms of x and y. Let's try to plot this function. So for the x axis, you know that y equal to 0 at x axis. Therefore, you can substitute inside this formula to obtain z equal to x squared, where your y is 0. So to plot this, you can substitute x inside from negative infinity to infinity. And you look at the number of z, right? 
So you will found that you can obtain the curve like this. So if you continue on the y-axis, so you know x equal to 0 at y-axis. Subtract inside the equation, you obtain z equal to y squared. So you can see this is your z-axis, this is your y-axis. So when you increase the y from negative infinity to infinity, then you can obtain the corresponding z. So when you plot it, you obtain another curve here. And at this point, you see it's at 0, 0, because when you substitute the x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 inside this formula, the high function z is equal to 0 as well. This point is located at the origin. So you obtain the z equal to x squared like this, and z equal to y square like this and if you continue to find the height at various x y point here then you can obtain this curve so this is the 3d prop for this curve our main target in this study is to find the volume under the curve within a bounded region so this is the main focus in this example you have the high function equal to x square plus y square and you are going to find the volume under various bounded regions like this case so your x limit is a constant from a to b and the y limit is from the g1 x function here to the g2 x function here therefore you can find the volume for the high function with respect to this region by using this formula and you need to integrate y first in this case because the y limit is in function from g1x to g2x and the x limit is in constant from a to b so this is the volume under the curve in this region for this graph you have the y limit constant from c to d so if the limit is constant you need to put it at the outer integration so the limit is from c to d and then you look at the limit for x which is from h1 to h2 1 therefore the limit is in function and you have to put it in the inner integration so this is your h1, h2 and put your high function here with that you obtain the volume for this case x is from a to b which can be treated as constant so you can put it outside integrate with respect to the x and your limit is a and b and then you integrate with respect to dy so your limit is from here which is the g1x and to here g2x so put the high function inside then you obtain the volume like this so you have y constant from c to d here so put the integration for dy outside and it's from c to d and then you integrate for the dx inside and your x limit is from h1 to h2 substitute here and put the high function then you obtain the volume for this case your x is constant from a to b therefore we need to integrate from a to b for the dx at the outside so for the inside you have the y limit from g1 to g2 Therefore, you need to integrate G1x with the G2 here. So put the high function, then you can obtain the volume. In this case, the S limit is a constant from negative 1 to 1 
Therefore, we can put it at outside. For the y function, you have the y limit equal to 2x squared to y equal to 1 plus x squared here. So this is integrate with respect to dy. So substitute the high function here. Then you obtain the volume. This case is more complicated. As you can see, there are a lot of functions. So if you want to use the x to be constant, so over here is not constant because it's in a function. So if you want to use your y to be constant, so if you look at this, this curve is consists of two functions. So we cannot use single equation to represent the region here. If this is the case, we try to separate it into two regions. For the first region, your x is constant from a to b. So you need to integrate with respect to dx, where the limit is from a to b. Then the y limit for this region is from g1 to g2x. So substitute it inside, you have integrate g1 to g2 with respect to d1. So substitute the high function inside, then you obtain the volume at this region only, d1. For the second region, we assume the y is constant from c to d here. Therefore, the volume at the second region can be computed by using this formula dx d1 where your y limit is constant from c to d for the x limit is from h1 here to h2 here so you can see that your h1 y here is equal to a constant at b Therefore, your lower limit for x is b to h2y. So after you substitute the high function inside, you can compute the volume under this region. So the total volume for this whole region is equal to v1 plus v2. So this is the answer. We can use similar approach to solve this problem where we separate the region into two. For the first region, you can see that the limit is from 0 to 1 for the x limit. Therefore, we can integrate 0 to 1 for dx. For the dy, you can see the function is from negative 2x plus 3 up to y equal to 3 here. So after you substitute the curve function here, then you can obtain the volume under the first region. So let the volume here to be this in the D1 region. We continue for the second region. So in this case, your x is from 1 to 5. Therefore, the second volume can be found by integrate 1 to 5 with respect to x axis and for the inner part you need to integrate with respect to y where the y function is from 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2 which is this until the y equal to 3 so substitute the high function here then you obtain the v2 which is the volume for this region so take the summation v1 plus v2, then you obtain the total volume. So this is the formulation of the volume at d1 and d2 as we discussed. In this case, if you set the x limit is from 0 to 1 here, then you can integrate the dx from 0 to 1. So for the integration with respect to y axis, so you need to consider the lower limit here which is x power of 3 upper limit here is square root x 
substitute the high functions here inside then you obtain the volume for this region so this is the formulation of volume that you obtain you can also solve this problem by taking the y limit to be constant from 0 to 1 so let us integrate with respect to y where the limit is from 0 to 1 so in this case you need to integrate the dx where the x is function so this is the lower limit for the x function however it's written in y so you need to find your x function which is equal to y squared so this is your lower limit you can substitute inside x equal to y squared then you continue and you found that this is the upper limit where the x can be found from here which is equal to y to the power of 1 over 3 or it can be written into this form so you can substitute it inside so after you substitute the high function here then you can obtain the volume in this region then you should obtain another formulation for the volume which involves the dx dy instead of the dy dx these two formulas should give you the same answer in this example let's take the x limit from 0 to 3 here so you need to integrate with respect to x from 0 to 3 then you need to integrate for the y limit from y equal to x squared to y equal to 9 substitute the high function inside here then you should obtain the volume under this region for this problem we can also consider to take the y limit equal to 0 to y equal to 9 so let's integrate with respect to y from 0 to 9 here so for your x limit this is the lower x limit which is equal to x equal to 0 and this is your upper x limit which is equal to x equal to square root y which can be obtained from here so we can substitute the lower limit for x which is 0 to square root y so this will be dx and after you substitute the curve function or the high function inside then you obtain the volume and these two equations give you the same volume within this region so you should obtain this result for the volume within this region so you see that for some problem dy dx can be switched to dx dy like these two examples so this is called switch the order of integration through this exercise you should be more familiar and understand how to form the equation to find the volume under this non-rectangular region this is very important please make sure you master it how if you want to find the area under this region instead of the volume so you know that the high function multiplied with the area give you the volume so if you let the high function equal to 1 then you only obtain the area so you should know that if you let the high function equal to 1 for all the formulation here then you are actually computing the area of this region let's try to solve more example so in this case to find the volume under this region let's integrate for the x from negative 1 to 1 so you integrate with respect to x from negative 1 to 1 and then you look at the y function so y direction is here this is the lower limit for your y function which is equal to 2x squared so this is the lower limit and upper limit is here which is equal to 1 plus x squared so the high function is given by x squared plus y squared you substitute so you continue the integration integrate y square with respect to y you obtain y cubed divided by 3 integrate the x square 
you press take y, then you need to treat the x squared as a constant. And then you multiply with y. Then you substitute the y limit inside and minus with the y limit substitute with d. Then you should obtain d. Let's further simplify d. So you multiply the x squared inside, you should obtain d. So you take the power of 3 for this term, you should obtain d. And then to add between these two terms, you need to have the same denominator. So you need to multiply this with 3 over 3. So you should obtain d. So you can continue to take the summation of the x power of 6. So you have 1 over 3 minus with 8 over 3. Then you should obtain negative 7 over 3 for x power of 6. Then you continue for the x power of 4. You see three terms. The coefficient is 1 plus 3 over 3 minus 6 over 3. Therefore, you obtain 0. You continue with the x power of 2, where you have 1 plus 3 over 3, which gives you 6 over 3 here. Lastly, you have a 1 over 3 constant here, which is this. So you continue to integrate this term with respect to x. Then you should obtain this answer. Substitute the upper limit and lower limit inside, and you should obtain the final answer to be 1.333. So this is the volume of this curve under this region. If you want to find the area instead of the volume, then just replace the high function equal to 1 here. So this formula gives you the area in this region. Then you can compute the double integral like this and you can get the answer for the area. In this problem, you are going to plot a region R in the xy plane, which is 2D, bounded by 3 curves, which is y equal to 3, so this is the first curve, y equal to negative 2x plus 3, second curve, and third line will be y equal to x over 2 plus half. So we can use internet such as Google in order to plot the region. So you can use this function, plot this three line, and then you can see this line is plot according to this color. So y equal to 3 is in blue color, right? The red color here is y equal to negative 2x plus 3, and the orange color here is this line. So after you plot it, you found there is one region bounded by all of the three lines. Therefore, this is the region R that you are looking for. It's very really important for you to find the intersection point here. So the first intersection point here can be found from these two equations. So you know your y is equal to 3. So this is the first equation. Second equation, you know your y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. So this is your second equation. Intersection point happens when the first equation equal to the second equation. Therefore, substitute y equal to 3 inside. You obtain this. And from here, you can obtain x equal to 0. So you obtain x equal to 0 and y equal to 3 here. So this point is the coordinate for the first intersection point. The second intersection point here can be obtained from the line 2 with the line 3 here. So when you let your line 2 equal to line 3, where you can see from here y is equal to negative 2x plus 3, when this is equal to y equal to x over 2 plus 1 over 2, so after you solve this, you should obtain your x equal to 1. Substitute the x inside the equation, then you obtain your y equal to 1. So in this case, 1, 1 is the intersection point here. Therefore, you can see over here x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. This is your intersection point. And to find the intersection point here, by using the similar approach, you need to find the line okay for line one and line three where the line one and line three they are the same 
So in this case, line 1 is y equal to 3. And line 3 is equal to y equal to x over 2 plus 1 over 2. So from here, you can solve for the x. So after you solve it, you solve obtain x equal to 5. And if you substitute x equal to 5 inside this formula, you obtain the y. So the y is equal to 3 in this case. Because uh, 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 gives you 3. So this is the coordinate for the intersection point here. Where you can see when x equal to 5, your y is equal to 3. So this is the intersection point. So it's very important for you to know how to find the intersection point because this is going to be useful for the limit. To find the region, besides the internet, you can also consider to use the linear function and plot it manually. You might also consider to use some programming software such as MATLAB, Excel and so on to plot the region and also to find the intersection point automatically by using the programming language so this information is for your extra knowledge in previous problem we success to find the region that is bounded by these three lines and we success to find the three intersection points here let's continue to find the area so we separate it into two regions region 1 and region 2 to find the area here your x limit is constant from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 here therefore you need to integrate 0 to 1 with respect to x your y limit is from here so this is your lower y limit which is negative 2x plus 3 when you integrate with respect to y and your upper y limit is y equal to 3 here therefore you substitute 3 here double integral with respect to dy dx gives you the area so you can find the area at region 1 by using this formula where you can see that the high function here is equal to 1 let's continue to find the area at second region you can see that the x limit is constant from x equal to 1 to x equal to 5 here. And your y limit so can be found from here. So this is your lower limit. Where your y is equal to x over 2 plus 1 over 2. And the upper y limit is y equal to 3. So this is integrate with respect to 1. So by doing this, this gives you the area in the second region. And the total area is take the a1 plus a2. So you can continue to find the area for a1 and a2 by using the double integration here. And then take the summation of a1 and a2. So the total area within this region is equal to 5 here. For the same region, the high function is given here and we are going to find the volume. Previously, we success to find the area for region 1 and region 2 by using this double integration. To find the volume, instead of using the high function equal to 1 here, we use the high function equal to 6x squared minus 41 here. So by using this, so you can see all the limits are still remaining the same. But if you include the high function inside, then you can obtain the corresponding volume at region 1 and at region 2. So the total volume is just taking the summation of the volume 1, which is this, and the volume 2. Summation of V1, V2 gives you this answer. Since we know that volume shouldn't have negative value, therefore we should remove the negative in the final answer. Previously, we obtained the volume for this region by using this formula, 
where we take the double integration of dy dx. So in this problem, we are going to solve the same problem, but in this case, we want to switch or reverse the order of integration, which is we are going to find the volume by using the double integration of dx dy instead of dy dx here. To do this, your y limit must be constant. So you can see over here, your lower y limit is equal to 1 to y equal to 3 here. So if you want to find your x limit, you have to move in the x direction. So this is your lower x limit. But this is in the function of x. You have to convert this into function of y. So your x is equal to y minus 3 divided by negative 2. So this is the lower x limit. We continue to find the upper x limit. So if you continue in the x direction, this is the upper x limit. So you need, you need to convert this into x where the x is equal to y minus 1 over 2 and then you need to multiply with 2 daughter you obtain 2y minus 1 so substitute x equal to 2y minus 1 to the upper limit here and substitute the high function By solving this double integral using the step here, you obtain the volume equal to this answer. If you compare to the previous answer that is obtained by using this double integral, then you found that you obtain the same answer. Therefore, we suggest to reverse the order of integration to solve the problem in this case.